Hello everybody, I'm Steve and welcome to Green Side Up. And today I'm here to get this uh, small tunnel sorted and ready for spring uh, because I'm going to have more and more tender plants coming down as, as the weeks go by. So I need to get this prepared and start getting it sorted out. So we'll have a look inside there and see what we've done. I'll just spin you around. Hope you don't get too sick. So what I've done is I've just covered the soil for now. And that's, this is where we're at. So I need to adjust this. Now I'm gonna put the hoops up, put the plastic on. Same, same crack as last year, but um, I'll crack on. I'll get you set up so you can watch what I'm doing. And um, yeah, I'll come back at the end and explain why I do exactly what I do here. My father's voice He would tell me to move on He would say I'll be just fine Yeah He would tell me we have time Time to laugh and time to heal A favorite song is on repeat Drinking wine until the dawn So here we are, more protection, inside protection, and that should bring the plants on in there nicely now. Uh, the brassicas, as I said last week, they were getting away a bit slower than I would have liked because at this time of year and this year, it's a lot colder than in previous years. So they're almost sat there, sulking almost. So hopefully with this on, it'll get a couple of extra degrees warmth and um, that should spur them and get them going because I don't really want to have to put them back on heat. Yeah, I can put them on heat and get them up like that in a, in a matter of a month, you know, but I'd rather just let nature take its course, to be honest. But anyway, so what I've done here is I've put the hoops on the canes, you'll have seen as I've done it, and that just gives me a relatively rigid structure. And then I've just folded plastic over the top. It's that simple. Now the slats, underneath with the bench are i don't worry about that the first year i was about six seven years ago now the first year i ever used this in here um i put some plastic down on the on the actual bench itself 
So it became almost like a sealed unit and I had massive problems with rot and decay. I lost a lot of plants. So I don't put anything under the plants anymore. But what I have got is I've got black plastic underneath the bed there on top of the soil. That's doing a couple of things. It's keeping the soil moist. So it's keeping the soil life active in there and working. Uh, so it doesn't dry out in this atmosphere in here. Um, it's attracting the sunlight during the day uh, and the heat and the warmth and that will warm the soil. Then at night that emanates out of the soil through the plastic and up through the trays and it does give you an extra boost during the night. So that's my little tunnel protection there. I must admit when I put this up last year I can remember this plastic being a lot cleaner than this. So um, I might spring and order some new stuff. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Well, there you go, that's that done. So part of the reason I think last year my peppers didn't ripen is this zip on this blowaway tunnel. Although I've made the door frame and that works properly and just left these zips zipped up, it still split away and there was a big gap and this was flapping loose all summer long last year. So it will have been letting an airflow through and in a cooler air when you want to build up a warm temperature in a polytunnel really. And you can see down here this this, uh, well, what do you want to call it, a window? Window flap it was also flapping around. I mean, you can see down here, it did have its safety pinned up, but it wasn't enough. So I'm going to have to sew that window up as well, uh, the same as I have that door. And I'll put a few stitches in all of those. It, you know, it's just an half hour job. I've got some really strong twine and big, massive needles off uh, eBay for next to nothing and it'll just keep this tunnel going for another couple of years until I come to replace the plastic. So what I've also done here, last year I tried putting a hotbed over here and after having put this thing up this morning, decided to knock that down. You may remember last year, if you watched, I dug that out two foot deep and layered it with manure, compost, all kinds of stuff really. And let it rot down. The idea was it was supposed to produce heat and but it didn't get up to a, a temperature that I thought I might get it to and I think it's because again because these flaps were loose and I don't think the temperature could build uh, in here. So anyway I've dismantled this hotbed. I've not dismantled the whole idea. I won't be trying it again this year but maybe next year and maybe in the new tunnel when that's up. We'll just have to see. It's something I do want to pursue and try again but for now I'm going to knock that down and when these spinach plants come out there's a, a good 12 inches of compost on top there I shall just spread that over this whole bed here and then this bed's ready for the year and if I ever want it I can always dig out some of the compost underneath because that's going to be solid compost all the way down two foot now um, I, I might even dig some of that out and put it on this bed when I make the transformation later in the year when I make the transformation back to a normal bed but we'll see but that's the option I've got there so I'm just going to get rid of all this timber here uh, put it to a use somewhere else um, and then I've got to stitch those windows up that'll probably happen tomorrow uh, and then we're pretty much good to go and I can move on to the next stage then so having an allotment plot is all about stages and you've got to be able to pick a job up, start it and then put it down and move to something else when uh, conditions dictate. Uh, you might come down to do a job that you've been wanting to do for a week in the dry weather and it's raining. So always have a backup plan of 
a wet weather day job, you know, have those in the back of your mind, be able to pick up something at a minute's notice and move and change jobs. So this is what, you know, I've done here uh, in getting this bed out here. This, this will make life easier. I'm going to be doing something else just behind the camera in this next few days and then something else will tie into the back of that but that will be using this but you'll see as it go along and it just helps and enables you to get things done a lot easier so if you can try and plan ahead and try and have a few jobs um, in your mind that you need to do wet weather jobs dry weather jobs digging jobs whatever just have them in your mind have a little list or write them down in a book if you want or on even on your phone you know it's up to you but anyway that's it for today look after yourselves stay safe i'll see you very soon Toronto.